Well, guys, it's like day two, three, four, five. I don't know. We've been here for a few, but today we're going to walk around the Ritchie Brothers auction, check out what they got. And uh, we're going to start off with the uh, big equipment. Which one? A or B? You going with the deer? Let's put the blades to each other. <laughs> well, I know that one would win. I know that one would last longer. <laughs> They're both the beast. I'm going to go with the old 850 in the back. If I had to pick one, it'd be the D6T down there on the be running long after all these are done well you're new to the group down here who are you sir that's right and mr I'm mike mr dirt, dirt boss. boss mr dirt boss decided to fly you said it was snowy in, in in new york oh yeah snowy we had a month of uh negative two weather we got three foot of frost in the ground so i'm sitting home they're perfect clothes <laughs> yeah he says heck with that i'm going to florida so one of the things on my uh, radar over here richie brothers i got this 850b which uh pretty similar dozer to mine actually it's pretty much identical but it's a pipe layer dozer i thought well, man this thing might be in pretty good shape being a side boom but after closer inspection i think somebody's pretty this one up with paint a little bit it is in pretty good shape for the year but uh still just a little bit rougher a little bit rougher than i'd like for it to be to go through the effort to uh, get it hauled home and pull all this stuff over and put cylinders and and make it use so i think i think that one's gonna have to be a pass but uh, i couldn't help but uh scope out the 1050k here this is the same dozer clint had for sale for a while these things are uh these things are a beast not for sure the weight on them with a pretty good sized machine but i did climb up in the cab on this thing and i uh, played around a little bit man visibility and usability i think is um could definitely be improved but it did start it did run also had to uh, let's just go back up over here we'll fire up the 375 komatsu this thing here is a is a horse i believe they make two sizes bigger a 475 and a 575 and uh i don't know what it looks like on camera but this thing this thing is pretty pretty good size give you guys a little view from the seat up here Make sure our safety levers are down. You go to start the key, you'll hear a little pump run. It's actually priming oil for the uh, top of the engine. And she starts. Oh, she sounds like a beast, boys. definitely got some time on her 21,000 hours is what the meter says I think she's still got some life left in her forward and backwards is a little bit goofy it's actually the toggle switch here This is the one you wish you had more than a parking lot to play with. All right, let's go see what else we can find. I always, always thought these 647 John Deere dozers were such a cool little concept, but they just never, ever really caught on for some reason. I think they called this their high-speed dozer. played on a few of them over the years from time to time haven't been in one much but Let's see if this one this one still have the key oh this one still got the key most of the new ones got a push button right there all right now for the beeping fold down joystick Sounds good. She 
these at least. I'm gonna pull the reverses on the bottom right here. I'm pretty sure, I'm not quite smart enough to figure it out, but I'm pretty sure you can steer with the joystick on the thing. And man, look at the visibility of this thing. You wanna talk about visibility? This thing's got it. I'm sure somebody can comment down below, but if I remember right, these things got a pretty good uh, road speed on them too, as far as getting down the road, like on a highway job or something. Definitely a cool concept, but this kind of never went nowhere. All right. I guess we can lower the blade down. Got it. Check out this oddball, 690C John Deere, sitting on six rubber tires. Like a combination of a motor grader and a few other things. No outriggers. I bet that thing is super stable to run. Stays right in place. I'm not for sure if you wouldn't get seasick by the end of the day running this thing. I think instead of rocking, it bobs. <laughs> She's a beaut, Clark. She is. I'm gonna say she leaks in a couple spots. Especially them cylinders if you boom down too far. <laughs> yeah. I've only seen a couple of them. First one in person. I was gonna say that's the first one I've ever seen. Oh, uh, really? Even pictures of it? Yeah. Ventured over to the excavator, found the uh, long reach aisle. Heard you guys like checking this one out. Looks pretty good just walking by, right? But if you look real close, this thing has been uh, digging in the old salt water. She was pretty crusty at one time. Somebody's painted her up pretty nice. I'm not saying it's a bad machine, but she's uh, she's had a pretty rough life. You have any luck over there? We're, we're getting there. Oh, a winning combination right there. Chris is messing on that. Let's see if the old 250 will fire up. Look at the Lee Bear 250. All right, it's a 926, which I think is equivalent to a 250. See if this jewel will kick. We got nothing. Absolutely nothing. Well, battery switch is on. I think she's just a little too crusty and rusty. Let's try the old uh, 250D. See if we got any better luck with that one. I don't know. Oh man, we are not having very good luck in uh, Volvo land here. How was it? It was good. It was stable. I was uh, surprised. I thought it would be more tippy. Well, let's find out. Obviously, tippy. <laughs> Watch out for the traffic. Tra <laughs> you will grab them. Split them like a fly. <laughs> Gotta watch out for traffic here because he will snag somebody. The truck coming now. Big long stick. We got traffic. Pretty impressed how stable is with it all the way out there. Obviously, the bucket is uh, empty, but too stable.
got just a little bit more reach than the super stick. Yeah. yeah a couple feet. A couple feet at most. Got good ventilation down here. That's uh. Luckily, it's got five tenths of an hour. That's all. Awesome. That's weight reduction. We got a Volvo. It's gonna start. Oh, she wants to. She's trying. Chris found him a 490. 490 link belt. Don't look too shabby, but it's definitely got some play in the old turntable down there. Mike, we're just looking at that. That'd be pretty. I think it's factory to that bucket. That'd be pretty slick for clearing. For sure. Not for digging. Not though. for digging, though. Nope. You'll be caught in the trench in no time. Chris is giving the old Sandy a run. <laughs> <laughs> does, it, uh, does it help if you make excavator noises as you operate? Look at that D6. Rum, rum, rum. <laughs> sounds, sounds, sounds good. I think they got that one prepped for longer wade. Yep. No, that's it for. Um, I don't know. Just there. Just in case you need it. <laughs> that's what it's for. Is just in case. No, that one's still too nice to shake for longer. <laughs> Well, that's because he hasn't used it yet. He'll fix that in a hurry. <laughs> that's, that'd be perfect for him right there, wouldn't it? It would not look like that about three days after his use. No. That panel door is still not guarded enough. It's just a beer can, buddy. Just junk. Chris has got a 300D Volvo going, but this one's got an interesting thumb on it. It's a main pin bucket thumb, but it's not hydraulic. It's stationary. It's mechanical. And it does not line up with the bucket very well. Oh, machine's a little tired. She's got about 10,000 hours on her. Oh, he's trying to pick the string up. Break it in. <laughs> Rip it out from underneath me. We're right at the corner here, seeing the PC 800. You can't. Can't pass on the opportunity to jump into cabin one of these things to give it a try. We got Mike climbing in. The 800. got a little life in her. I think she's loaded a few trucks in her day. Oh yeah, 19,000 hours. That dozer had 21,000 hours. Really? 
I want to know where that guy's been working and he's got his window all plated up. <laughs> Apparently the bad neighborhood. Yeah, inner city. Knock your glass out in the heartbeat. It's not as bad as it looks. You know, it's kind of like your elbow. I think this is like a millennial farmer. Are, are you okay? You doing, you doing, doing all right? We're good from here down. Yeah. Once you get to there. This is, you call this cylinder 60%. 60%, 60 percent. 60 percent, 60 percent still good. The other part, not, not so much. I mean, give the guy credit. That takes talent. Like, you just don't do that on your first try. Like, you, you just don't do that on your first try. All you need. All right, hopped up in a 323 cat to uh, give her a try. Looks like somebody's got a panel door open over there. See it right there? Oh! I think there's a panel door open over there. How many hours on it? 2100. It don't feel too bad. There's something open, you said? Les Chris was over there. It's definitely a little bit of a different feel. Mike's gonna give her a try. It seems like it sticks in way faster than it sticks out. Not quite sure what the deal is with that, but it's definitely got some good life left in her. It's time to play the game. What is this creature? Obviously it's military at some point and it has a dozer nose cone on it. It's got a big old caterpillar engine on it. But it is basically a center steer tractor. What's your guess? Well, I was gonna say skitter, but it's when I walked over here, I realized that's not it. Yeah. Is it the other half of like a... The front half's a dozer. The front half's a dozer and the back half's a... Is it one of those that used to like the wagon. Oh, bolts on up there above? Yeah. I don't know. You got a guess there, boss? No, I don't. I really don't. I like the cab. I like uh, you know, the, the good news is I think the engine in this will fit in a 983. <laughs> Climb up here on top, give you guys a little bit of a view. That is all the good stuff over there we've been walking up and down. This is the back two rows at the Ritchie Brothers auction, which is... Uh, Pretty much all the stuff that got the left are is inoperable. Sure there's a few good gems in here somewhere, but uh, a lot of junk, a lot of junk. There you go, Chris. She's a paint job away from being worth a hundred thousand. Mm-hmm. She's a beaut. Just gotta find the right sucker. And the right painter. Well, I'm pretty sure you can paint it before you can find the right sucker for it.
This must be the loading and unloading zone, boys. Look at them rolling in and out. Pretty wild. Well, I was pretty excited about checking out this one over here at the Ritchie Brothers auction. This is the uh, A25C, basically the same truck Chris already has, a little smaller than the one we looked at yesterday at Yoder and Fry, but had high hopes on this from the internet listing, but looking at it in person, we're having some doubts. I don't know if you guys can stand back here and look. It looks like the, I don't know if there's a bushing or something wore out, but the, the, the truck's kind of kinked up right there. We can't get it started. It's got aftermarket air conditioning on it. I don't know what this one's going to sell for, but I got a feeling I don't want it. She's a little bit rough, isn't she, bud? A little bit. A little uh, TLC. I don't know. A lot know. of TLC. I think this is the, the lot of TLC. Chris is determined to get this thing started. They don't have a key switch where the key's supposed to be. I'm sure there's a button combination we're supposed to hit, but we haven't quite figured it out yet. I don't know, bud. She's a little rough. Finally found the key switch. We did finally found the key switch. There's no key, but uh, the, key. The, the, the only good part about this truck is it's the only one that don't have front end damage. I know. Well, it's got a little bit, but I think that comes mandatory in all of them. 923. I guess we'll watch her and see what she goes for. Chris is trying to convert Mike. He's actually, he's got you guys that don't watch Mike's channel, Dirt Balls, he's got the exact same skid steer I do, Kubota 90, SLV 90-2. He actually likes his. You guys know my thoughts, but Chris is trying to convert him to a Takakuchi. They are nice machines. Trading in the Kubota? No, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> not sold yet. Well, you can keep the engine. Still yeah. got the Kubota engine. Right. I was just down there, about You love your Kubota. Yeah, I love the faded orange paint. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you keep them long enough, it you end up turn pink. You, you keep them long <laughs> enough, you end up on the pink one. Yeah. What do you think? Does Lieutenant Dan need a big brother? That's Lieutenant Dan Sr. <laughs> <laughs> this one's not near as good a shape as old Lieutenant Dan. No. But it's still cool as crap. Interior's a lot nicer. Mostly because it's got it, the it interior. Has interior. interior. That would still make somebody a pretty cool little project truck though. It's a beast, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Oh, what a truck. Big old winch on the back. The biggest problem with this truck is if I come home with it, I'm pretty sure I'm divorced. I'd already be divorced. <laughs> it depends on how fast I get the videos out. <laughs> yeah, you, got, you got a month. <laughs> you got a month. Boys, that's going to be a wrap on the Richie Brothers trip. Yeah. Great I guess, trip. Uh, I guess I'll just have to stay tuned to see if we end up with anything. Yes, we will. We are. Uh, In about October of 2022, you'll see this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. We're out. All right, guys, on our way to Florida, we stopped by Charlie's job site to check out some soil stabilization. Seen this done a few times, but uh, pretty cool, pretty cool how they go about it. So 
As you guys can see over here, Charlie will come in with a spreader truck and he just kind of spreads out that cement on top of what is definitely nasty, muddy, soft ground. You guys can see how, how uh, rutted up that is, how soft it is, how puffing it is. Then they'll come back over with the reclaimer, which is basically just a big fancy tiller. What that thing does is it mixes all that cement in with the dirt. And this here has been ran over with the uh, reclaimer and mixed all together. Then once they get done with that, They'll come back with uh, some sort of pad foot or sheep foot compactor, roll over it, and uh, keep going up and building lifts. And eventually, they turn a pile of mud into a perfectly solid building pad up there. Works uh, works really, really, really well. So, Chris, uh, Chris is covering this really well on his channel. So, if you guys want to jump over to Chris's channel, let's dig 18. He's actually up there riding with uh, her right now. I'm sure he'll have a lot more details about it. And Charlie, who owns the operation, actually has a YouTube channel of his own, Copperhead Vine. So go check him out. But man, beautiful day, beautiful sight. It's just kind of cool to be away from the big metropolis of Derby, Indiana and check everything else out going on in the world.